Hello everyone. My name is Rutuja Rashinkar and I am a student of Pimpri Chinchwad College of Engineering, Pune. I, along with my group members Pragati Janjal, Gauri Pawar and Swaknil Rokde, have developed a project on automated system for face mask detection, contact tracing and for ensuring social distancing in the COVID-19 scenario under the guidance of Dr. Swati Shinde Ma'am. introduction in 2019 the world was starting to get affected by a new and a dangerous virus which we call the coronavirus due to its la largely spreading tendency the world health organization declared some preventive measures against this virus this included wearing a mask in public maintaining social distance avoiding mass gathering etc now also we can see that there are people who are not following these norms thus this became our motivation and we chose this topic for developing our project so as to monitor people and help in reduce the spread problem statement to monitor people and detect if people are following the norms declared by the government so as to reduce the spread of novel coronavirus these norms include wearing mask in public and maintaining social distance the objectives are system are face mask detection face recognition social distancing alert the person and contact tracing this is our system architecture so we first monitor people using a camera and if people are not wearing mask then it is detected in our system and they are recognized also if people are not maintaining social distancing it is detected in our system after this such people are identified and an alert is sent to the authority and the person who is not following the norms so we use our uh, camera laptops camera and the libraries which we used are open cv numpy time tensor flow and os object de object detection models which we used for ma face mask detection was mobile net for face detection was face net and for social distancing purpose we used yolo v3 algorithms and techniques that we have used in our projects are uh, like for mass for mass detection and face face recognition and for the social distancing we are using cnn based object detection approach therefore we are also using cnn algorithm indirectly and also we are using hair cascade for face recognition and lbph algorithm which is uh, local binary pair histograms which are used to remember the trained face for the system so here are the first our first model face mask detection for detecting face mask we trained our model using mobile net architecture with unmasked and masked face images so here are the uh, examples of our data set uh, unmasked face images uh, in shown in first image and masked face images that is shown in second image here are the output of our first model that is face mask detection in first photo we are seeing that the ma uh, man or by wearing a mask therefore system recognizes recognizes him as mask and the other one in second photo he is not wearing mask so the system recognizes him as no mask here is the input video of mask detection so here is the input video of our system here is the gui of our system our first bit and train our faces for face recognition as we uh, press test uh, for face recognition here taking the uh, database as create face data set then uh, camera webcam of uh, camera our laptop opens and it takes video uh, continuously we are taking around uh, 100 videos of uh, one face for training our system to recognize his face and here is this uh, capturing the photos of uh, that system and on tracing train face uh, face data set right? uh, our system is trained with their 
face and along with their ids and uh, with with corresponding to their ids the names are also stored in our systems so this is the input video so here is the data set that we have just created uh, and uh, here around 100 of photos of one face are stored in our system to recognize the face at testing so here is the output so in first photo the uh, photos of the uh, that person swapnil as trained with our uh, system, therefore system is recognizing with his name. And the second person is unknown to the system, therefore system recognizes it as unknown. So our third module is social distancing. So here we are using a YOLO architecture for detecting the persons from the image. And YOLO architecture does one thing that it creates a bounding box around the person that detected by him, detected by it that object detection. And by detecting that bounding uh, person with a bounding box, we have also known the centroid of that bounding box. So for calculating the distance between person, we are calculating the centroid between those centroid of that bounding box. So we are using distance measure as Euclidean distance for calculating the distance between that centroid of bounding box. Here P1 and P2 are the centroids of the bounding box of detected persons. So here is the output. In first, uh, image we are seeing that the persons are training far from each other and their brown, bounding box centroids and distance between them is greater than the threshold value that we have given so that bounding boxes are green in color and in, uh, and in similarly in second image the persons are standing very close to each other so therefore distance between them and the centroids of the bounding box from by your architecture are also less than the threshold value therefore the bounding box turn into red so here is the uh, small output of uh, output video of that project uh, uh, model. So here, as persons close to each other, bounding box looking red and by green. I will play once again. Close red for green. So this is the output video of our full project. Here, the person is wearing mask, therefore it is detected that the person is masked and therefore no action is taken. Now, the person removes mask and his face is... See, now the person removes mask and his face is recognized and the inner bounding box is for his face for face recognition and the outer bounding box is for social distancing purpose but as here there is just a single person only one bounding box is there and therefore it is green because there are no other people he wears the mask again Now we can see that in the frame there are two people. One is unmasked and the second one is masked. So the unmasked person is recognized and we can see that there are two red bounding boxes, outer bounding boxes. These are nothing but for the purpose of social distancing. As one of them is not wearing mask, the bounding boxes turn to green, uh, sorry, red because the distance between them is very small. Now, as both the people are not wearing masks, their face is identified and the same is stored in a date in an Excel sheet. So this is the Excel sheet that was generated. Here the name and the present are uh, the two columns in the Excel sheet. Under the name section, the people recognize their names are written. Next, please. And after face recognition, we are sending mails to the authority and to the person who is not following norms. So this is an example of how the mail would be like. 
some of the applications of a system are for maintaining safe distance in the traffic then it can also be used in societies for parking area purpose then reporting crowd in an area to bring it under uh, police notice that something is wrong in that area and mass detection in uh, crowded places such as mall or small organizations so conclusion we have built a model which will detect whether a person is wearing mask or not and will also determine if people are maintaining social distance or not if a person is found covid positive list for contact tracing is also generated necessary actions will be taken against them who do not follow rules these are some of the references